Dear Mano and our followers, welcome to the month-long Kurdish Heritage Month celebration sponsored by Kurdish Cultural Center New York. My name is Khayal Kartal. I am the founder and director of the center. Yesterday, we have started our month-long Kurdish celebration with award-winning Kurdish film director Manokhali's documentary film called Beekeeper. Manokhali was born in West Kurdistan. He's an independent Kurdish Swiss filmmaker and producer living in Switzerland. Khali studied history and law at Damascus University and film and fiction direction in Czechoslovakia. Dear Mano, welcome and thank you for joining us to celebrate our month long Kurdish heritage uh, celebration. Now I'd like to start off with my first question. When did you decide to become a filmmaker? Thank you a lot. Hello to everybody. I'm really happy to be with you here in this uh, panel to talk about myself, about Kurdish uh, films, about uh, Kurdish culture, let's say. Um, and um, um, it would be nice to meet you personally, physically to, you know, but now we are in a station that we are far away from one each other and we have to talk online. Anyway, I'm happy. Thank you a lot, Khayal, inviting me for this panel. Um, I, you know, I, I born in, 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 in Kurdistan, in a small village. We had no electricity, we had no cinemas. And my father or my mother or somebody from my family didn't work it in the cinemas, on the theaters. That to say I came from a family which was, you know, which was artist family. Maybe they were, they were in their soul artists, but as a professional, they were absolutely a normal Kurdish people. And I studied in Syria, my school, of course, uh, everybody knows that our Kurdish culture, our Kurdish language was forbidden in, the, in Syria, like in Turkey or in Iran or in Iraq, of course. And uh, we had to study Arabic language. We spoke Kurdish only at home with our family. I studied, I finished my, uh, my secondary school and um, um, gymnasium. And I, then I went to Damascus. I studied law and history. I was from 80, 1981 until 1986 in Damascus studied. But in that time, somehow, maybe before when I was in secondary school, somehow I was, I loved cinemas. I was loving to watch movies in our city, Kamishli. Mm -hmm. And when I was studying in Damascus, somehow, somehow it came to my mind, why you don't study film? Uh, it was really a, a just, a, just a, a small thought, which start to be, to become bigger and bigger. And, and then once, um, you know, you feel yourself accord, you are not belonging to this, to this history which they teach you in the school in the, in the university in Damascus on these laws which you are you are you are you are learning and you know that you will be if you finished and you will stay there in this country you will be in the you know and and and, and how they say and, and um, you will work for for this regime which is which is a brutal regime was Assad regime and that's why somehow I decided to study film. I loved this thing. And then uh, I made application to that time to Geek Film School in, in Moscow. Um, they answered, they wanted some, some paper and I could it. I applied my paper to Czechoslovakia and they said, yes, you can come. You have to make um, preparation exams at the school to learn the language. And then really I did it. I went there, I studied, I made a, Czechoslovakian Matura, they say, and uh, I was one of five students taking this school between 150 applied for the film direction. And uh, then I was there until I finished my school. I worked then time in Czechoslovakian television as a director. Later when they divided Czech and Slovak to two, two countries, Czech and Slovak, I was working in Slovak Republic to television and um, yeah. And then um, uh, my dream was to go back to my country, of course, in Kurdistan to make movies, but unfortunately, 
um, as a free person, you cannot yeah. live under the dictator. That's why I had to leave my country and come to Switzerland where I'm living now and uh, working here uh, as a producer and uh, film director of mm -hmm. many documentary and fiction movies, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, our homeland is not free, but thanks to your films and our Kurdish film directors, you are making this border nonsense, right? We still are able to touch one another, greet one another and hurt and cherish your success. So um, yes, the, the, the border, although it's solid, it's artificial. And your film um, destroys, levels that borders. And that's what we, we are here to share with our audience and uh, with our Kurdish sisters and brothers. My second question is about your unique approach. You are very different, Mano. You are very different in relations um, with your protagonists in your films. Would you please talk about that friendship with your, with your protagonist and how that relationship, friendship reflects on your camera? Um, thank you. It's, uh, it's nice to, to ask this question, which is very important. I think um, um, through my experiences and maybe for, for, for young filmmakers, I never do something which I don't love it. You know, I love this work and I love to do that what I am loving. That means if if I'm I'm choosing a subject to to, to make a movie about it, let, let's say a documentary film now, yes, mm -hmm. because I made many documentary films to uh, beside my my fiction movies, and there I I I love my protagonist because I make a movie when I love the story when I love these people who is talking to me. And if I don't sympathize with them, I don't, I cannot build a friendship with them, then I don't make a movie, you know? Um, that's, and all these things which I did it, for example, my documentary film, even in Kurdistan, where they made an anfal about, about Saddam's um, operation against Kurdish people, my movie, which was known, David, um, the guy who went to Kurdistan to fight for Kurdish people, uh, somehow that time, I met this guy and they said he's he's a somehow somehow I liked him that time. I said now I'm going to make a movie. I liked his family, his father, his mother, they are perfect people. They are until now my friends, you know. One thing it is here very important that when I am starting to make a movie, it's not only an egoistic way to make a movie and finish and go away. I am starting. I am building a friendship with my protagonist. Somehow I am giving them myself as a human being. I am sharing my feelings with them, crying with them, laughing with them, you know, talking with them. I give them the feeling, a true feeling, that what they are saying, it's very important for me. That's why I am going to make a movie about them, about this subject, you know. And you see these people are not only, only uh, uh, you know, uh, access is that you are just showing them and you go away, that they see that, ah, okay, we are important for him. And once you are breaking this border, you are breaking this, this wall between you, a filmmaker, and between your pro protagonist, because once he is talking to you as a friend and not as a filmmaker. You know, there is a movie called Our Garden of Eden, I, I shot it in Switzerland, and one of 100 best movie ever made in Switzerland during this 100 20 years of the of life of the cinema. And I am really proud to be one of these 100 films, best movies in Switzerland. We are proud of there, you. There are, there are stories of this movie that everybody was asking me how you could talk to these people, how they could share with you this intimate, how the, these intimate things they are talking to you. I said, yes, because they, because they talk to me without the camera, the same things, because I was sharing with them their feelings, their happiness, and their sadness. There was a, a man in the movie um, who wanted to be a fisherman in Italy. He came to Switzerland only for six months to work. And he, he sat here 40 years working in tunnels and, 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 
and building streets. And when he was talking to me without the camera, I was feeling what he's saying. And he was feeling that Mano is listening to me. Mano is my friend. We are friends until now. Now, 11 years, I finished the movie. Until now, we see on each other. We are, you know, we are, we are, we love on each other. There is other family from Poland, for example. They are lovely too. Even they divorced in the movie. <laughs> Through we are shooting the movie, they had a problem. They divorced, but both of them, they are my friend. And because, and that's why I, I believe you have to respect your, your protagonist. You have to give him the feelings, the true feelings that you are, you are uh, loving him as a human being. You are crying with him when he's crying. You are laughing with him. You are sharing his story with you somehow. And then you, you catch this, this very nice moments because a protagonist in a documentary movie is not an uh, actor. He's not coming wearing clothes, you know, Maybe. mask and, and makeup mask and, and playing on the front of the camera, learning dialogue and going at home again, you know, taking off the clothes. No, he's coming with his own clothes, with his own mask, with his own uh, feelings and trying to, to talk to you. And this is what, what reflect later on the audiences, on the people, people who, is, who is watching the movie, for example, the beekeeper. When I saw Ibrahim Gezer, for example, first time, I went to the mountain to him. He, he, he knew me. He knew that, ah, there is a Kurdish filmmaker because he saw one documentary about Kurdistan. He said, yeah, I, I, I saw your movie. And when I told him I'm going to make a movie about you, he said, yeah, of course, it's no problem. But it was problem because he was thinking, I'm going to make a movie about the bees, about the honey, how what is the queen is doing, what the drones are doing, what the workers are doing. And then when I was talking to him, he started to cry. And all the time he was crying and I was trying to, to calm him you know, down and, 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 and hearing his story because he had a tragic story in the life. And once after months of this, this, this you know, transmission between the feelings, my feeling and his feeling, mm -hmm. we find one each other as a friend. And once he was calling me, where you are? Aren't you coming to this day with me to the mountains today to see to go to the bees? Uh, don't you want to learn how to, to be kidding? And then, then I saw Ibrahim, Mr. Ibrahim Gezer, how he was talking about himself, about the family, a very intimate things. Somebody talking about the, the suicide of his own wife, you know? This is, and the Kurdish society is very shame when you say somebody from my family committed suicide. Nobody talk about it, you know? They say um, he died or he, she's died, she had accident, that's all. But he started talking to me, detailed, you know, everything got happened. And that was because he believed that I'm going to make a good movie. It was very interesting once, um, he, was, he was very, very nice. He was just, just sleeping really like a small child. When he was tired, <laughs> he was sleeping immediately and in, 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 in one minute he was, was sleeping and and was snoring um, and <laughs> once I told him uh, Ibrahim uncle Ibrahim I was telling him uncle Ibrahim all the time uncle Ibrahim you snore so that you have to shoot it just shoot me how I'm snoring you know I'm, I said no but no no you have to shoot and then he told me you know Mano if once I die for example I am you know I'm, I'm now a little bit 70 or something like this if I'll die you have to shoot him. I'm dying. That's that's my story. Will be right. Will be will be absolutely. And then, then I, I believe it that Ibrahim is 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 a part of the movie. That we are. He will love the movie too. And this is very important. This is very important by any filmmaker. By my movies, everybody who is looking at the movie, looking at himself, is not ashamed. They are proud that they are a part of this movie. In all my movies, everybody was working with me until now. Nobody said, oh, 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 you made me bad or you show me somehow in a bad way to the, the no, everybody is loving what they said. Maybe they love sometimes and say, oh, you, you, what I am, what I am uh, telling, but they love it at the end because, because we are transmitting feelings. And I say all the time, movie and story is feeling without feelings. You know, it's nothing. That, that that's it so art is feeling exactly art is feeling you have to 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 transmit this feeling this feeling have to mm -hmm. to fly in the between the audiences you know from your picture to the audiences exactly when i'm i'm standing in front of the of a of a, of a picture of, it's 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 cubism or or surrealism or or, or abstract 
if I have no feelings inside me, it doesn't mean that I have to understand it. I don't understand. Maybe it's only colors, you know? I don't know yeah. about what it is. But as soon as I have some feelings toward this picture, then I say, yes, it is the art. The art is to, to develop somehow feelings in my soul, you know? And that's, that's what, what I say in the movie. And to have these feelings, you have to build this friendship with your protagonist. You have to respect them, absolutely. And if somebody came and, and start from the beginning, you know, I am going to make a movie about such a person, uh, Lou, La, I say, don't do it. If you don't like the person, don't do movie about him because the movie will not be good. You know? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that, that is amazing. We have, especially film directors, artists have so much to learn from you. You are not only abolishing the artificial borders in Kurdistan, making us one again, but you are also making camera between you and protagonist, between protagonist and the audience, absolute, right? We feel how Ibrahim Gaza feels. We feel his pain, we feel his love, we feel his passion. Now, about the beekeeper. Exactly, it's, it's you know, I just will tell you before you ask, it's, if I don't do it, it's not. It's my feelings, by the way. Where I'm, I'm, I'm showing that what I'm believing on it, because everything in my movie it's coming and cal calculating everything. You know, it's not just because of that. Because it's nice, I put it here. No way. I'm putting every scene, every sh shot, every cutting, because I believe on it. When I'm breaking the borders, because I don't believe in these borders, because I'm against this border. Mm -hmm. When I'm bringing something nice, I'm trying. You know, with this, with this, with this pretty to to say we are here, we are existing. They divided yes. us between four countries, but we are here. We are a human being. We are nice. You know, uh, uh, you see. For example, just I come back to the actuality. For example, four days ago, five days ago, the murderer Putin started a war against Ukraine. Of course, yes. of course, it's it's terrible. Of course, all the war now. European Union, all the world are against. Only some dictator is, is helping him. But just, I say all the time, it's killing one person, it's the same killing millions of people. It's absolutely the same. It's all the time, it's about one soul, it's about one tragedy. It's, it's you know, it's not, nobody can say, I am not a murderer because I killed only one and the other killed 100, he's murderer. Yeah. No, murderer is murderer all the time. And just look at our Kurdish people. Our Kurdish people are, are killed Every day, every single day, they are killed from Saddam Hussein or the new Saddam Hussein in Baghdad today, or the, the fascism in, in Turkey, the fascists in, in Syria, and the mullahs in Iran. They are killed, but nobody, nobody is caring about us. You know, and this is, we have to care about ourselves. We have to share that, look, we are, we are souls too. We have, you know, we, are, we have mothers too. We have small children too. And, and, and these bombs was falling, is killing, killing people all the time. Yes. Which language is speaking, which belief is believing is the same, it's for me, <clears throat> you know? And this is why I am thinking about our Kurdish people, our Kurdish culture, our Kurdish existence. You know, I am in Switzerland, I'm living here in Switzerland. They say it's the same for me what is happening. No, it's not the same. Because it's not the same for me what's happening in Ukraine now. Because I'm against this war, against Putin, against this stupidity, what he's doing, against this, you know, uh, and, and that's that's something something it's other you know I'm really enjoying Kurdish music more than Russian music or this Chinese music I respect it I love the music but Kurdish music is something else for me it doesn't mean that I'm a nationalist or I'm a, 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 a you know yeah it's yeah exactly and this is why I think it's coming from from myself as a Kurd as a as a, as a human being believing uh, for the right of these people that they have right to live uh, free. Um, exactly, I could be free in my country and <clears throat> shoot movies in my country and not to be in Switzerland, for example, or in America, United States, or in Germany, and, and asking uh, you know, uh, to make movies in Kurdistan all about Kurdish people. And they say, why you are going to Kurdistan to make movies? Why you don't make movies here? You know. Uh, yeah. Well said, Mano. I, I, I just wanted to highlight a point that just because of our 
our identity be just because of the language we speak. Our own being, flesh and blood, um, is, is a threat to others because we are not like them. And that's a huge fundamental human rights abuses that we've been subjected to every day. And thanks to you, thanks to Kurdish artists, singers, storytellers, that we are sharing our pain with, within Kurdish community and our brothers and sisters in America, in Europe, and anyone, anyone really who cares about human suffering. Yes, we definitely are feeling what Ukrainian citizens, you know, civilians, mothers, kids, elderly are going through because we've been going through for hundreds of years now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I like to go back to the film, The Beekeeper, and our lovely protagonist, I'm such a fan of Ibrahim Gezer myself. He has, um, he has a space in my heart now. He has a room in my house. He's, I feel like he's my uncle. He could be my brother. He could be, he could be anything to me, really. Uh, what a loving person. There is something about him, Mano, uh, I'm pretty sure. I watched your film probably five times already. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I will watch more. You can be sure of it. He has this intimate intimacy with his bees. He cares so much. He loves them. He's very passionate about his bees. And there are some scenes that we see in the film. It, it's it you know it it uh, it is uh, humorous, right? It makes you laugh, but. It's been a reality of his life. Everything is about bees. But then we see something else. He says, bees are smart. They were able to keep their family intact and I fail. But what do you make of this? What does it think, mean? Yeah, yeah. I think it wasn't, for him, it wasn't, wasn't so exactly talking about himself as a as a loser, because Ibrahim is not loser. You know, he never think about himself as a loser. That what he did, what he reacted against the against the, what the Turkish regime did against him. You know, the reaction that he lost his family because he's a loser. No, but just how he was. It's the, the, you know, this is the the, the, the hope. It's a dream. To, to be free, to live free in these mountains. I have, I, I built a house. I had to have my family, but unfortunately, uh, there was other, other, other reasons why I didn't make this nice life, this be life, be family life, to be harmonically together, to live together, to work, that everybody have his own, you know, uh, they know what they are doing. And this is coming from outside. That means this pressure, this is, this, to be a loser, it's coming from outside. Somebody, somebody uh, made a pressure in him. Somebody made his plan, um, destroyed his plan, life plans, you know, and dreams. That was what he was saying. Because we don't want to to put all the time names and say because of that happened this. No, we just show the movie. Mm -hmm. And important for us is that he was a nice father. He was a perfect nice father. He loved his family. The family loved him. Everybody, everybody around this, 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 this villages where he were living loved him. And then say, why happened to me like that? Because, and if we, uh, 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 audience, people who, people who show the movie, think about it, we say, yes, we know the reason why he is like this. And that was very important for us to, to finish our movie like this. That we, as a human being, we want, you know what we want. We want to have a, to have a, a, a um, to have a safe, to have, to 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 uh, to educate our children, to 
to um, to live in, in security with our children, to have our job, to live freely, to use our mind, to our thought, our love. But when somebody is coming and destroying this, then we say, mm, I didn't succeed with, with this all this thing which I was dreaming about. Yeah. yeah. But what an and it is, it is because he was. And one thing, if you before you said about about his his his, his you know how he was treating these bees because he loved this job. He's he's really in love with his bees, and he was just when he was they were, was taking him saying, yeah, it's very nice. I love it when he's. <laughs> <laughs> and and that's that's coming from the love. I think when you love something, uh, you love something. You have a huge respect for the for that. You know. It could be an, an insect, it could be bees or a human being or a, a tree or a grass or, or, you know, same. This is coming, I think, from the love. And he's a very, a very nice person. He's loving nature, you know, he's, uh, um, we were in the mountain, for example, really eating a, a piece of onion, onion. He was, <laughs> you know, he was putting yes. all things back in the in a small bag and, and bringing it to the city to throw them. I was telling him, just throw it here because it's you know plants. It's uh, it's nature. No, 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 no. This is something. It didn't. It didn't belong to the to the mountains. The onion and bring them back <laughs> to throw them <laughs> in the city. And this is this is how you how you respect the nature. How you respect the the the, the, the land. You know. Um, and 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 he he's like this. And he he many people really was, for example, some once he called me and he told me he's a lady from Germany came to visit me. And um, can you translate? I start to translate. The lady was with him. She lived in his house, I think, two, three days, just, just coming, visiting him. And he's saying, you know, she's living, she's sleeping on my, my bed. I am sleeping on the couch. <laughs> and the lady, the lady brought, I think, five or 10,000 seeds, you know, flower seeds. And just mm -hmm. she, she throw them around his, his, his bees. And the place where his bees were, to to you know helping him, and she went to Kurdistan to to Elbistan, um, yes. and and, yeah. and she visit, she visited the, the the people who knows Ibrahim, because she was really uh, she 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 loved the movie and she loved this person as a human being, you know, as a, I mean, and yeah. uh, and this this happened even here in Switzerland we have. He is telling me all the time, Mano, I am just walking in the street and people telling me, ah, oh, Ibrahim, hello, Ibrahim, hello, hello. You are a beekeeper. And that's very nice. Once happened that, you know, he, somebody gave him a, a piece of land, a small, a small house and on the border to, to Germany. And uh, after the movie, of course, and, and now he has his bees there. Of course, the Germany is very close to, to them. Mm -hmm. They need only five five minutes for the car to go to the other side of the border, and Swiss is not in the European Union. You know, Swiss is a uh, country itself here in the middle middle of Europe. He went with his son to go to eat um, to have a lunch in in Germany. Of course, his son have a firm. The car was full of material. Just to sit in the car. They went to Germany. They had a lunch, and when they came back, there was a custom officer on the border. And they opened the car, the car was full of things. And they told him, give us the paper. And he said, ah, oh, but things here for my firm and they are from Switzerland. I just went, and I'm coming back. They said, no, you have, you came from Germany. Now you have to show the papers. And then one policeman from this customer just looked at him and he said, oh, aren't you the beekeeper? <laughs> he said, yes, okay, let's go. Let's go. And he told me, you know, Mano, even the movie is my passport, you know, and, and the police just I said, that's nice. It's... That's nice. That's that's how how we're trying to, you know, to share it, to share this story. Of course, I, I believe I, I, I don't say Mano Khalil, but maybe XY could make a movie with Ibrahim. Maybe it could not be like this, like this, so strong in this society, you know. By the way, the movie was shown, I think, all around the world, from United States until until Australia, India, Japan, um, Arab world. Mm -hmm. uh, even in Turkey, we showed it in four festivals in Turkey. I do a film, a, a, a prize there too. Uh, of course, uh, because we are we are touching heart of people, yes. and in Turkey there is definitely many nice people who don't mm -hmm. agree with this 
with this murderer and this regime. Of course, there is many nice people there who is working in the culture and art, and and they love the movie too. And it's yes. even they translated to Turkish language too. And this is very nice when you when you talk about somebody, and you say, you know, you or your brother or your army destroyed my dreams, and they start crying with you. You say, yes, this is nice, you know. Yes. Because we are yeah. in the movie, we are not going to fight. In the movie, we have no guns to fight against one each other. In the movie, we have to share feelings. I say all the time, again and again. And through this feeling, you can win. Through this feeling, you can make friends. Through these feelings, you can make friends that they help you when you are you are in need. You know. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That um, Ibrahim Gezer's love, respect and how he values the life, life itself, life in nature, life in bees. Thanks to your unsubjected way of illustrating his, his film through your camera, his, his life really is contagious. His love is contagious. We see how he is interacting with the family, local family, without knowing, I don't know, more than 10 words, but they know him yeah. and they love him. Yeah. Again, when I watched the first time, I was telling my friends, I can live with Ibrahim Gezer for my rest of my life. And yeah. he said, he's an old man. I said, it doesn't matter. It's, <laughs> he could be my my exactly. partner, exactly. he could yeah. be my yeah. father, he could be yeah. my brother, it doesn't matter, but yeah. <laughs> you feel the genuine feeling, right? Yeah. And, and that the key, that the key that people in Turkey, uh, Turkish citizens cried with Kurds. Yeah. I yeah. We didn't know. That is yeah. unacceptable, right? Without going through, you know, you and I, us and you, and, you know, yeah, because yeah. if you touch, if you are artists to, to tap that love in the heart, just like yourself, yeah. then, then, then we create a better world, not only for Kurds, but for everyone. Exactly. Exactly. I can talk Absolutely. to you hours and after or hours, Mono, but I know you are a very busy man. So I am going to Thank my you. next question about your new films. What a what a film! You've been invited more than eighty six festivals around the globe. How many continents is being screened? I, I am counting every day, trying to follow up with your post. I, I, I don't know. I think I'm lost at one point. It's an award-winning film. And we were with you in January at Lincoln Center when your film was screened as the opening film at the 30th edition in Jewish Film Festival, which was very touching, very honoring as sitting on that seat as a Kurdish woman. My son was with me, he was amazed. Everyone was um, coming representing Kurdish um, uh, cultural center. We were all in tears at one point, laughing another time. It, what, a, what a moment that you made us proud of our identity. Um, you made us once again pride because it's not your first time coming to New York, uh, especially Lincoln Center, and we would love to have you in our sixth edition in fall. Now about the neighbors, if you briefly tell us why do you think this film has been well received and you've been getting more invitations from, from Russia, from India, you, from Saudi Arabia, they invited you for their first film festival ever. Yeah. Talk about this amazing film of yours. Um, I think, I think you know, I made many movies, but uh, this movie, it's special for me too. It's somehow, um, I didn't try to be, to show, show myself as an intellectual film, you know, a film director or to, 
to try to 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 show something um, you know in a in a higher level as as uh, as my audiences, which I never do it, of course. And here it's it's something working. It's very well. I think the true in the story, you know that. Uh, again, I say this transmission between me, a filmmaker, between my script, between my actors, and between our audiences. We are talking about a subject, about the human beings. There is different people in this movie. There is Arabs, there is Kurds, there mm -hmm. is Syrian Jewish, there is Turks, there are some foreigners, there is uh, Armenian even, uh, and we are sharing, we are showing them as a human being. First of all, I said many times that people can change. We can change. We can be bad, but we can be good too, you know. And because we as we can we can change, we we uh, we learn to change too. We learn to be bad, you know. Education and this movie we are showing how the fascistic regime of Assad, the Syrian Ba'ath Party, how is he educating people to hate one each other? We just show what brought this country, call it Syria and this situation today. We are talking about the hate against Kurdish people, how they're hating Kurdish people, forbidding their language to use these small children. But the way how we are talking in this movie, that let's say, I, I don't say that it's my only my movie, it's a, it's a movie for all of us who work in this movie. We try it don't, not, to be, not to be a judge, not to be, somehow play and the a prophet role in this role in this movie you know this is our our holy book this bring you to the paradise and this bring you to the hell no we didn't we weren't there to judge people you are bad you are yeah. good black and white we are trying to show things the teacher who's who believe in, in Ba'ath ideology which is Nazi ideology is coming thinking he will change the world and will build a paradise. And we see that it's what he's doing. It's very bad. He's punished three times. His friends didn't came, his companions or camarade never came to him, you know, to celebrate. <laughs> he is teaching that kids, you, he see that the kids are, are going somewhere else because these kids have other education at home and they will not, will not be, you know, only educated from him. He says that, Planting hate didn't bring anything, and he is going back to his to his country or to his to his city, punished three times, uh, punished but punished in an artistic way, in human way. You know, um, you can I, I, I say it's you know it's it's making art. It's like making a politic, <laughs> of course, in different way. In politic, you can stand in front of the front and and scream and call names, and somebody will shoot you on the head. And there is a politic that you can call names, you can win the soldier somehow else, in other way, you know, not calling names and screaming. And this is what I say to our politician, a Kurdish politician, making, making Kurdistan is not worth just screaming. Yes. Making Kurdistan, you can just just touch the heart of people, you can build Kurdistan because 100 years now we are fighting. 100 years we, we lost 100 thousands of young people in this fight and did it brought so much for us, you know? Still the world is not helping us. Yesterday, <laughs> yesterday the American <laughs> get the soldiers away from Kurdistan after we, we did the, the nice job, let's say for us and for them too. Uh, and 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 that's in this in this movie neighbors we are talking uh, truly we are talking uh, in very humanistic way respectful let me say you know we are, we are we are treating everybody with respect even that bad guys we are respecting very very well because they are human beings and this why why it's coming to the to the audiences Three days ago, I was in Ticino. This scene here is a, the part of Switzerland where they are speaking Italian. And two ladies came to me and they told me, we saw your movie twice. We were in Locarno Film Festival, we saw your movie, and we came again here to see the movies second time. And they said, this, it didn't happen all the time with people, that people with somebody coming to you telling you, you know, I came second time to see your movie. And this is very nice because 
because because they love it. I believe she loved the movie. She, they loved the movie. If they didn't love the movie, they will never come again to see the movie. They will never come to meet me even. They say, you know, we don't want. And this is why, why I'm trying not to scream too much through my work. I am, I, I leave, I, I let my, my movie scream somehow, you know? I'm sharing this love, this respect to, 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 to come on the, on the screen, on the big screen. And, and I see how the people are acting, you know, they are sitting and they say, what a nice story, because it's a true story, because it's coming from her, from my hair at the end, you know? And um, yeah. Well, again, it, what a pleasure, what an honor having you um, as our guest and hopefully we'll have you in New York in full. Just, just to recap my feeling that because of your films, because so many other Kurdish, very talented film directors, our dilemma is being taken away from politicized, but giving the room for people to say, without Kurdish people being freed, there won't be any peace in this world. Without Kurds being liberated, they won't, we can't talk about liberation or democratization in this, in this world. And you are, your films manifesting that reality that no, no, we, we are not here to make troubles. We are not here to make wars. We are here to tell our stories to end the war because there's an ongoing war on Kurds. It doesn't matter where you live, honestly, even in diaspora, we be in attacked, we be in um, depicted as inferior, so our art, and that is so rich going back to ancient um, Greek time, gives us this tools, gives us, you know, we remember our history. You remember our history, Manu. I mean, of course, so many, we only have handful um, film directors, not only within Kurdistan, I, 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 I like to, I, I'm, saying this, that you are one of the most talented film director in the world, not only for Kurdistan. And, and because you are also adding this moral campus, right? Your, your, uh, your compass is not, is not becoming a you know, well-known film director or, or being famous, but simply making people, making human being, putting their hands on your heart their heart and saying that yes, the love should lead the world, not the war, not the suffering that we already had enough. Thank you very yeah. much. And you know, it's a just, just thank you, but just I will, I will just I will, a, a small comment on what we said. I, I was, I was in Saudi Arabia with the movie. It was very, mm -hmm. really, very interesting. You know, to talk about uh, anti-Semitism in Arab world, about the Islam, about the. Uh, the, this education, Nazi education in some countries, and 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 so a taboo tema to take a talk about it. Um, I was afraid maybe they will they will have I will have a bad reaction with these two people, but but for the luck it was very nice. They love it, you know. And once an evening we were sitting together, a Syrian um, from from the film film industry asked me, "Are you are you supporting um, to uh, to have a a a, a, a free Kurdistan in Syria. Mm -hmm. And they said, you know, the first thing, I hope you will be free. When you as an Arab in Syria be free, I really will not, will not, will not fight for a free country. If the Turks, Turkish people will be free and know what, what the democracy and, and human, human rights means, what, what the respect means, that time I don't need a Kurdistan if yes. the Iranian people, if the Arab people, they understand what human being, their needs, the love of, of these people, people, the, the respect means, and, and when I have 
my dignity, my will, my, my, I'm free there where I'm living. It's the same for me if my neighbor is a Kurd or Arab or Turks or French, or I am living in Switzerland and Switzerland, there is a hundred nations. Switzerland itself is four languages. There's four group of people living together in this country and no, who cares who is the president of Switzerland? Half of Swiss people don't know what is the name of the president of Switzerland because they don't care because everybody living free. And this, that, that's why when I see that nobody respecting me, I say, hey, if you don't respect me, if you don't want me, then I have to go away from you because maybe in this, my country, my small, what I build it, I will be more free then, you know? And that's why we are fighting. We are not fighting just to have a small Kurdistan. Maybe you will have a Kurdistan and we'll have a Saddam Hussein as the president in Kurdistan. Then we will say, no, we don't want, we want a free country. We want a, if Kurdistan will be free, then we have to be free. When we are fighting for that, we don't have to have enemy around us. We have to have a friend around us, you know? And that's why fighting for Arabs freedom, it's the same like fighting for Kurdish freedom, fighting for Turkish freedom, it's the same like fighting for Kurdish freedom, because when they will be free, then we are automatically free too. Yes. You know, we don't need them to fight against them. That's the, that's the, the rule of this life. You know? Well, well, well said. I, I wholeheartedly um, agreed every word that you said. Thank it you. is not about we want one. We want to become one of the rulers. It's not that. It is our own existence, right? Our love, exactly. our identity, exactly. our language, yeah. our songs, our stories, exactly. everything. Our folklore, our bovens. That's what we want. That, that's what we want to exercise freely. And once yeah. once world recognizes, then I think then we want. Sorry for New York um, ambiance in the background. Um, then again, if we have that, as you said, then Turks will be free, then Iranian sisters and brothers will be free, then Arabs will be free, then because they will say, hey, why, why, why there is a border, why, why we are fighting, why we are invading exactly. someone, exactly. Else's, exactly. someone else's village, that's exactly. not even our village. Yeah. 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 So that, exactly. that is uh, what... That is what you know. We are we are fighting for our rights. We are fighting for our rights as a human beings. And as soon as we have these rights, there is no need to fight. You know, I am fighting. I'm fighting to have my kids in the school to, to learn Kurdish, to listen Kurdish, to vote. That th those who I need to to have my my, my free uh, mind to make my movie freely. And when I do them, it's the same for me where I'm living. If the name is Kurdistan. Or uh, or or um, uh, Starstam or or, or Moonstam, it's the same for me. <laughs> well, well, yes, yes, of course. I mean, so Come many out. actors are trying to politicize, but our yeah. our main core um, dilemma is our dignity being taken yeah. away from yeah, us. Course. Not of not course. that of you course. know. Then then of Kurds course. Of are course. are yeah. oh, we are good fighters, and yeah. we, we that's what we want to do. Definitely not. Um, once again, thank you very much. It was a thank you. pleasure, heartwarming conversation. Uh, it's not an thank interview, you. but friendly conversation to me. Thank you very much. And for our thank audiences, you. please go to KurdishCulturalCenter.com to follow us on our social media accounts and go to our YouTube to check and watch Beekeeper and our interview with uh, Kurdish film directors, Mano Khalil and among so many others, uh, interviews, go and live workshops and others. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day.